Boys Girl. What you gonna do? You wax? Oh. No. Should be something better. Rakes. Oh, shit. It's here. That's crazy. That is dope, man. Yeah, I love that. Wow. Yeah, you can sell those at mock-up, bro. <laughs> wow, yeah, that looks crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. All I did was I picked them two, uh, them two backgrounds that you posted. You posted like four or five stuff that we could use for backgrounds. Yeah. I grabbed two of them because I couldn't decide which ones I wanted. So <laughs> That's let me grab two of them, at least the same uh, color. And then, you know, have them make one of each. Is it from somebody that you know? That you got him. I heard you say his name or something. I saw you say his name somewhere. Yeah, it's the homie uh Master Groove. Master Groove, so okay. On, um he got an Etsy, a Etsy site. So he vinyl junkies printing on Etsy. Okay. And then um but I know him through the uh the hip hop vinyl spinners. Oh, he's one of the DJs? Yeah. But he do cool. um he do custom slip mats. He got stickers. Like he always send me stickers. So, mm -hmm. got Final Junkie stickers. Oh, those are dope. That's a dope logo. Yeah. This is Idlers. I don't know what Idlers is, but. Okay. Oh, shoot. This is one of the other homies. This is one of his. This dude, Mr. Furious. The where? He out of uh, Detroit. Mm -hmm. He rhyme. I've been trying to get him to trying to you know hit him with the elbow, coax him, trying to see what he sound like. Maybe uh -huh. one day. You might want to see if we can get some race gold stickers up in that box. Yeah. And uh, what is this? Orange County Vinyl Junkies. Hmm. That's dope. He gave me a bunch of stickers. Fun DMC. That's <laughs> off, uh. People under the stairs. Another nervous. I got a nervous one already. Wow. So all the ones that I put on the um on my mixer, mm -hmm. most of them came from him. That's another final mm -hmm. thing. So yeah. That's the way you put them joints on the um, trunks. I wanted to put them on my ASR, but I couldn't bring myself to. I only put one stick on that ASR. I was trying to keep it clean, otherwise. But I don't know. Looking back, I might have tagged it up better than tagged it up. Gave it a little bit of love. That stuff said, I, like I said, I was holding on to them stickers because the mixer, I started to get changed the face plates out. It's mm -hmm. these cats out of uh, maybe Germany. They might be. I can't even think of. It's a uh, NCMP, I think. Mm -hmm. They do different color face plates, the metal face plates for your mixer. They got one for my mixer. They got them for the S9. What up, what up, what up? Hey. Peace. And, um, peace, peace. Like the old school, like Vestax. Mm -hmm. And you could, you know, do a custom plate for your mixer. That's it's hard to get one. They got one to make it look like that old school, like gold, gold up top and black on the bottom, like the old school Vestax mixers. Mm -hmm. I was gonna get one for mine, then I was like, ah, I ain't want to pay the hundred bucks or hundred fifty, whatever it was, just for the metal plate. Yeah. And I was like, I got all these stickers. I pulled the plate off of this one, and just started slapping stickers on it. And took the Exacto knife and cut out. The holes, mm -hmm. you know, for the pots and stuff. Slapped it back on there. Wow. So yeah, y'all ever get a good look at it? Mm -mm. 
No. Eyes on me. Applied pressure. Oh, that's dope. Okay. So you pulled the faders off and took the exacto knife to cut cut slots for the uh, faders and all that. She, you got your uh, your mixes customized and tagged up? Nah. <laughs> every every time I think about doing it, I, um, I just I just never do it. Um, you resell or trade a lot of equipment or not? Nah, I keep most of the stuff I have, man. Um, it was funny we were talking about this in another chat earlier. Like, if I do decide to get rid of something though. Mm -hmm. I want it gone. So like I like when I saw my NS seven, my man was asking me about it. I'm like, you come get a day, you can have it for four hundred dollars. He's like, What? He's like, I'm on the way. But then he was like, you know, I don't even know if I got all the bread. Like, I don't give me what you got and then just pay the rest. You know, like so I don't I don't really try to kill nobody, but I also don't really sell stuff to people that I don't know. Yeah. You know so if I if I know you, like I'm, I'm gonna do the best to try to look out for you without losing my shirt. But like I, um, I still have my, um, my Range 61 is actually at my daughter's house. Um, she has some of my 1200s at her house. Um, I got another set of 1200s in the garage set up. Then I got, um, my audio technica joints, which I actually like more than 1200s, which to most people is blasphemy, um, are in here. Um, then I got, the, <laughs> I got the, um, the, uh, the pioneer, um, S nine in here. And then I got, um, my daughter has one of my pioneer controllers. Um, and then I got the rain one in the garage. And I got a, uh, a Roland DJ 505 in the garage. Um, I got a Vest Tax mixer in the garage. I got an old, um, I don't even remember what it is. I want to say realistic, but I don't think it's realistic. But like an old, uh, like original, uh, like 1980s mixer in the garage. Um, yeah, man, I. I I basically hoard crap, yo. Like I get it, and I just hold on to it. I got it. Uh, she you got a little mats? Huh? You see my slip mats? Did they come in? Yeah. Wow, you said realistic though, man. I ain't, I ain't heard that brand name. That was Radio Shack brand, right? Yeah, yeah. Those are dope, yo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are dope. That one, and then I got this one. And you said your man made them for you, right? Yeah, my homie Master Groove. Okay. Like I said, yeah, he, I might got have... he got a shop on Etsy, so it's Vinyl Junkies printing. Okay. On Etsy. And I did go through a um a Serato control vinyl phase where I was um grabbing control vinyl like I was losing it. What's up, man? You gonna say hi to everybody? Yes. Come on. Hi. Yeah, hi hey, man, how you doing? Yeah. yeah, you can see him from there. No, they oh, they can hear you from there? Yeah, you're right. They did hear you. He wasn't doing good last week. Oh, I have, I went out track master track. No, you didn't run out of track master track. Actually, one of those two people there, <laughs> they sent you a whole bunch of track master track you don't know nothing about yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. But let, let Daddy finish, okay? What's Mommy doing? Cooking? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, you going to go downstairs with Mommy and exercise? I'm you already finished exercising? Yeah, we um we bought a uh a spin bike um caught a crazy deal on it right after Christmas before we went to uh Myrtle Beach. Um so anyway, like you go downstairs and he'll be playing with the pedals or whatever. So um uh little tykes had a little tykes version of a, a spin bike. So I um I saw it Monday when we uh, we went to Walmart and they had like three of them. It was like 90 bucks. So I was like, ah, let me see what it's about. Came home and looked it up on Amazon. It was 160. There you go. Yo, yo. Bert. What's happening? What's happening? What's going, What's going on, champ? What's happening? <laughs> nah, no, nah, I'm trying to butter me up. No, what's up? <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. 
Preparing it. Okay. All right. I need to hear this. Look, look, look. I've been on the This has been look. brewing all day, huh? I said, I said I wasn't even going to talk to him tonight. I was going to act like I didn't know he was here, you know? I was going <laughs> It's all a set up. I'm going to have to watch. I'm gonna have to watch what I'm saying, yo. So, um, you know, I can't give him no fodder, no ammo, yo. Yeah. Uh, all right, right, right. You know, taking notes today. Uh oh. Yeah, hey, yeah, uh -oh. yeah. Hey, hey. All jokes aside, though, that was murder music, fam. That, that was, was that murder was, music. Yeah. Yo. That was overkill. Yeah. Nah, nah, heard? nah. It wasn't. It wasn't overkill. It wasn't overkill. You do what you're supposed to do. You do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> like I ain't going front, yo. I that keep it a buck. And you know, I don't, I don't really. You know, I was uh -oh. listening to that shit like, yo. I'm that was like, tough. Woo. Yeah, no, nah, that was that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, that's we we play it in the car sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's... That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> no, he. Yeah, you. I'm gonna let you hear. That, it. that was murder music. I was listening to that joint right. like, okay, okay. And I heard that, and I was like, oh yeah, oh, 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 oh word, okay, you know it. Yeah, I got, I got well, it. I'm about to mute y'all and I'm about to go listen to this real quick. Right, play, yeah, play it. Come on, you know you got it. You got oh. it, come on. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm gonna upload yeah. it to the uh, to the cloud. Like clothes and click click that barrel wrapped around your dome. This for Jerome's knees. So wake up, you dreaming, Nick. You shrimp can be got Cubans with the Jesus peace, nigga. You plan B, the F in the double E K. Fuck up your family, you bitch made potatoes too flay. I got a man, and it's your mama, Nick. Don't rattle the cage. She entertained in the track, got you ready to die with who you came with. I puff that to make some like lone dude, you name it. Disqualified, hypnotized, Ryan. You still in training. A chicken hawk, far conk legs, I'm cutting off. You a smirk twerk, walk with a switch, carry your person like a boomerang. Ring. I'm back on that ass like Captain Kirk. You need a dog spot. They vote for you, nigga. They getting popped. Like who shot me for run shaking raps on Black Street? Ain't no holding back. I burger that beef at Mickey D. That the mind that shine a knife in your gut. Fuck up your features. You push over Domino Boy. Deliver pizzas and 30 bars in less minutes. You couldn't keep up. You not a bad boy. That boy just got ether. Those Cypress Silk is killing the man. Feels prestigious. Great skull. Home of the braids. Send you a t-shirt. R.I.P. Suck it reverse. You got murk. Couple punchlines. Shot of your spine. You're feeling hurt. But your haircut sucks. You really catching the fade, you fuck. You couldn't duck this. It's rinse and repeat. I'm setting up for one to die to kick his ass next week. The Mondashar. <laughs> Great score. Let's go. Yeah, that, doing, that right. thing, murder music, man. Word. I was yeah, going to do look. it, but I didn't want to get, you know, uh, any sneak attacks. Because I didn't know what they was going to do this week. I'm like, maybe one day I'll pop nah, out yeah, the side this time. Nah, okay. Nah, uh -oh. that's, how you, that's how you're supposed to do it, man. <laughs> nah. Nah, I, 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 I'm glad too. I need every word I got now, yo. I need but he every, every word in my vocabulary. Huh? He bowed. He bowed. He gracefully bowed out. And plus, he hit me like on a Saturday or Sunday, and he was like, um, you know, hey, what's up, D? Da 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 da. I'm like, oh man, this is a nice guy. Then I go to his page. He, you know, he a family guy. So, Oh, uh, he cool, man. And that's very cool. He's very like, cool. Good guy. He very cool. Good guy. He's cool as heck, man. He's cool as heck. Yeah. And that, that's what I was saying. Like, you know, what I've enjoyed about it more than anything is like even Nomadic. Like, I think I said it a week uh -huh. or so ago, like me and Nomadic supposed to work on some stuff together. And yeah, I, I thought that okay. was cool as heck. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. And then like, you know, Neeks, like, you know, we, we kind of shot stuff back and forth on occasion, but since he kind of put his name in the hat. We've been engaging more, you know what I mean? And that's, to me, that's the, the cool part about it is the, the engagement, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, yeah. at the end of the day, you know, the, the lyric part is is the lyric part, but the the camaraderie, camaraderie more than anything for me is what's, mm -hmm. what's kind of dope yeah. about it, you know what I'm saying? All right. Cause um, I just, like I just it. actually, that was one of the last things I did was uh, send him a message. Cause he, he sent me a message earlier today. Yeah. I, yeah, I guess when it came out and stuff. So yeah. I just, yeah. that was the last thing I did before I got on, send him a message. All yeah, right. no, nah, he, he's very, he's very cool, man. <laughs> well, from as cool as I guess you could think somebody is just knowing him from, you know what I'm saying? Oh from, my you know, God. But, yeah, That's but, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they 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 gonna get what they want though. They what gonna you get laughing what they at, want. T? Look at T Bell. They... Man, <laughs> like I said, man, I 
like I said, when I heard it, and then I'm listening to them doing their commentary, I'm like, oh. I'm like, they ain't gonna call it before the uh before the vote, and I'm sitting here like, man, they calling it before the vote. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty they much. Even let them vote. They already on. Well, next week it's gonna be one to down to mom. Like, damn. Oh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> wow. Let me let me hear that drone again so I get back to my anger mood. Uh oh. Mm-mm-mm. And then he gracefully bows out in the beginning anyway. I mean. Just no, but that's you know? that's the funny thing. Like you know, what I'm saying you. <laughs> like he wrote, he wrote two rhymes. Like this shit is taxing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you, you kind of, yeah. you don't know, like you. I don't know if people like I used to tell people all the time. You have no idea how much work I did to eat that three minute song. You know? Yes. You know what I'm like you got to write it. You got to get it to the point where you could deliver it. Then you got to go record it. And this, you know, this is before stuff in the house. So, you know, you go in some place to record it. Then they got to mix it. Oh, man, we yes. missed that. Oh, okay, well, go back here. Before you can punch in, you start from scratch. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, then it's got to be mixed. Like, yeah. even a you know, like, yo, it took it took hours to get that three minutes, you know? Yes, yes, it, it's a job. It is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think he ran, he realized that too. Yeah, you're right. He realized that halfway through the round because he's just like, you know what? Don't vote for me. <laughs> he told the people, don't vote for me. <laughs> yeah, but I think he, like like I said, you know, I think he said that like, he, he has some, some decent stuff. Like he, like his graceful line. Um, that was cool. Graceful line was kind of cute. Yeah. Uh huh. That was tight with the He Man verse or the He Man line. That was tight. I like that. I was, I was like, that. How do you flip that? Yeah. That was nice. That was nice. I give him that. <laughs> I like the response. Of, we don't need the, we don't need the Great Hulk yet. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. T- <laughs> Yeah, can shoot, you know. Right, she's all right. out of nowhere. Man, who did you diss us? I'm like, hold on, man. Right. <laughs> he said, who said what about Grace Kong? I said, oh. <laughs> Defuse, defuse. Right. Oh, shoot goodness. him in the neck with that serum, you know. <laughs> Calm down. The study used to give Mr. T so he will fly. <laughs> oh, you know what? I, sup- I subscribed to the Patreon the other day, man. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah. So we got anybody joining us tonight? I'm hoping Alex hop on. Okay. He said he uh he might try. Um but not he might he's he's trying to get on. He said he teaches a class at, at night now. Uh, okay. He doesn't it's supposed to be over at 9 30. So he said we'll you know we'll try he tries to jump on right after that. He actually jumped on last week after we'd already jumped off. Oh, did he? Oh okay. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I finally uh so he, you know, he's been going through a whole bunch of stuff. So I finally uh, gave him the news today. I was like, "Look, I know you haven't had a chance to check the episode, so I just want to let you know." That yeah, you, uh, he's real appreciative and honored. And so okay, okay, that's good. Honored. That's good. He also, right. you know, that he's been working on dim sum. He wrote the treatment for it, and he's, uh, I guess, he's just about ready to farm it off to the animators. To, um, okay, the animator, but he Word. told me about some of the what he wrote up. He's, he's got, a, he's got a plan. Whatever, yeah, anything. I told him, make sure he puts himself in there too. I told him since you got the in, since you know you crew, this is your this is a great place to choose to introduce yourself too. So don't don't feel shy about putting your own character in there. Right, right. Yeah. Word, word. So hopefully. Yeah, he was actually talking about Ryman too, right? Or does yeah, he have yeah. any, is he working on anything? Yeah, he's got three beats. He said he got a couple of drinks he's working on. Yeah, okay. He actually asked. Uh, he actually asked for your beat again. She. I mean, he can he can work from that if he wants, but I um I don't mind cleaning. It. Like the drums on there are super low, but yeah, he. I mean, for him to sketch to, that's perfect. And then yeah, yeah once he once he's ready to record or whatever. Um, man, that's gonna be dope. Yeah, like I said, if he wants to resequence or whatever, I could change the the sequence of it, whatever. But um, yeah, I love that beat. I'm. Not- I remember when you made it, man. That's right. Perfect. I, I don't imagine him want anything different from that. I thought I'm it was mad. I yeah, it's, that too it, since I put it in there. It sounds like cartoonish, like fast moving colors. Mm-hmm. Man, along with the cover. Ooh, man, he got a lot to play with. I need to. Uh, man, put the cover in there too. Like, man, how y'all had in the bowl of soup or something? Oh, yeah. Uh, dim sum? Yeah. The cover that is the skulls, right? Yeah, that's that's yeah. Uh, 
that's Yanni's work there. That, that was Yanni. Yeah, that was Yanni's drink, okay. right? Yeah, but he's going to do a whole video that's going to be like us in his animated style or one of those styles. Okay. I'm sorry, yo. That's keep the change cover, yo. Yeah. Bro. Keep the change cover. I ain't seen that. <laughs> I don't know that anybody's seen it, yo. Okay. Man. Pull it up. Uh, yeah, if you want. But that's yeah, pull it like, up. Oh my. Like when I saw him, like, yo, how I couldn't have asked for, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what I wanted, but I know that's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't I don't know what I wanted, but that's it. It's LG? Who nah, did this um, one? Nah, Yanni. Um, Yanni? Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yanni in her bag right now, boy. Creative Bro. bags, boy. Oh, shit. She, she got me not wanting to ever think about doing cover art again. <laughs> like, I'm not fucking with that. She is, she's on steroids with it. Like, he is killing it, man. I'm, yeah. I'm, uh, well, I got to tell like, yeah, I got to Alice is up like in like 30 minutes. Both of them are like banged out. I was like, what the hell? She, she was <laughs> on front. Same with yours. Demar, all of them were just like, boom. Yeah. She just said yes. Yo. And she, like, I can't wait to see what my cover art game looks like uh, at the end of the year. Wow. Like every, every, um, every. Yeah, she's going to have damn near 60 joints to play with. Yeah. 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 She might. Fight. You might want to retire by the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> that demand oh. gonna come in. Uh, I yeah. like um. She you know what I'm She over there chuckling, playing the silent uh, partner. Okay, all right. <laughs> giving up thanks. Giving up thanks and all that too. Let us get on the elbow, Yanni. You know, that elbow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Elbow pass. She said you can get a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. That's good. That's all right, good. get one bowl. We'll take it. <laughs> that, that's what we've grown to expect. So as long as we see that, we know we're straight. Right. Yeah. Uh, we probably be more nerdy now if you show up with the face and everything. We're in trouble. Like, <laughs> I know, right? That ain't her. It's a, it's a All right. Y'all right. <laughs> gonna start calling it oh. Doombot if I show y'all a person with a real face, huh? Yeah, that's how you know when your parents say your full name, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> them joints, yeah. That therapy cover art is dope as hell too, man. Like, when I, I'm like, yo, this, I, like, I, don't, oh, I just hope man. people don't, people understand the symbolism. Damn, you know? that's heavy, that's heavy. Yeah. Yo, but what, what really got me is the, the greenery, yo. The greenery to me, I'm like, yo, mm. I don't even know how you thought of that, but that's perfect. That's it. That's it. That's the plant growing. Like, it's it. it and it's coming from out the front. Like, the whole, like, everything I see in that, I don't know if everybody else is going to get all that or not. I don't even know if that's what I'm supposed to be getting from it. But and when I saw that drive, like, you hit my head, like, yep, you got it. Yo, son, mm -hmm. that thing. The way you wrote it, wrote it up, the your breakdown of it was you. You were deeper than I got, but I was like, oh shit, I just kind of understood it, but I didn't put it in the words. You put it in the words perfectly in your text, man. Because I was I was seeing it. I'm like, yo, all like the yeah. the the whole thing was just so obvious to me when I was. I was like, yo, this is incredible, yo. Yeah. But again. I don't know what I wanted, but that's it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know how else to explain it, yo. No, yeah, what, I, you, what I, was you going to say? You, you like, was about I, to explain like, it. Like, I'm drawing a blank. I don't have anything. In five minutes, she's whipped up. Mm -hmm. Stuff that made me look like I really had no business touching any tech to begin with. <laughs> Eat the yeah. She's a beast, man. Keep the motherfucker. I do, dang, wow. I do, I do like, I do like Reese's mix. When I listen to it in the car, the, yeah. that that the ad lib tracks are almost non-existent that's mm. the only thing i would say um but um and and i'll be honest like when i listened to it i was like well if this is what he heard mm -hmm. i'm a rock with it you know what i'm saying yeah. like mm -hmm. my my biggest thing is taking my what i heard and putting it on the shelf to to allow other people to hear something different, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like even our discussion yesterday, I was like, let me let me think on it for a second, mm -hmm. and like that's that's growth for me, bro. Because I I promise you, like 18 months ago, I was like either all the way in or all the way out. Like it wouldn't have been no <laughs> let me probably like yeah, now nah, I'm not with it or all right, word. And 
Wow. Like, like when I when I stepped back and thought of it, I'm like, yo, not really what I was thinking, but I could see how that would be dope. And that, like, but that's who I want to become. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what I'm trying to grow into. Um, even like, mm-hmm. even me and Cayman had a talk today. I was like, look, man, we're not gonna do no whole much of back and forth today. Yo. No tantrums, no yelling. <laughs> like that's that's just gonna be it. If you yeah. see what I'm about to yell, call daddy on it. If I see you about to throw a tantrum, I'm gonna call you on it. And it's like mm-hmm. the day was perfect, yo. Wow, perfect. Yeah, it was. It was actually kind of scary. I don't know if we could duplicate it tomorrow. I might have <laughs> set myself up for failure, yo. <laughs> But like Twilight Zone, <laughs> huh? Yeah, the, the right. bar has been set too high. It's impossible to reach it again. No, that's that's dope. That's that's really good to me. I, I feel like I'm I'm kind of getting the same thing where I'm learning the, uh, you know how they they say that that philosophy, the yes and philosophy. I've been trying yeah. to break that instead of just you know when something makes me normally want to say no, I, I'm trying to short circuit my brain to make myself think no. Hold on, let me see how I can turn it into a yes and so that mm-hmm. I don't you know erode another uh, a relationship and see like if there's a way to build a bridge as opposed to just destroying a, a path so and, and exactly exactly yo and, mm. and my thing like i said is for me it's like yo just get out the way you know what i'm saying like i can Ooh, yeah <laughs> I, I i tell people I'm like yo just move so i can save you from yourself mm. but i can't do that for myself yeah you feel me so yeah. that that was like all of that, like like I said, Reese is mixed. Um, in 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 the, the the video treatment we talked about, it's just like yo, word. All right, I'm gonna rock with it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, see what see what happens. But yeah. if you get a vision, we can try both too. I, I'm, I'm all yeah. That's what I was gonna try. Nah, yeah. nah, well, I, but I but I think I think as I so my my so to the just to keep it a buck, and this is why when when um. Bear started talking about, I think, the evidence video last week. I got real quiet because, like, I was just going to put my phone in the car and then just drive around and film me and Alina and came in the car. Ah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, that's dope, though. And and, you can, right. And I think you can still use pieces of that. Yeah, but then when yeah. you started talking about the green screen idea, I was like, that's even doper. And we could still incorporate came in and Alina. But then that just gives you complete creative control on the back end. Yeah. You know I'm saying so that that's why, like I said, but again, a year ago, 18 months ago, I'm like, the hell with all this shit. Ah. Cancel the song. Right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Damn, cancel the song too. <laughs> I, 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 I'm being a bit extreme. But, <laughs> but you know, like again, sitting yeah. back and thinking about it, I'm like, yo. All right, I hear you though. I, I, I had boxed myself into this one thought. So and right. just by, by going green screen, I instantly give us access to the world. Mm-hmm. Like but if in the car, that's all you get. You can't really manipulate that for so much. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Which was the idea initially, but then I'm like, yo, nah, nah, nah. Let's let's go with the, the, the freedom approach. Yeah. So yeah, but but the biggest part of that was saying, let me think about it for a second. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that like, that's big. Yeah, that's no, and I don't, yeah, I don't know why, it, but I don't know why it's so. I don't know why it's such a big deal. You know, like know. why is that such right. a challenge for me? But well, it sounds like even like you were saying, Shy, even even you in some way, yeah. like I the had, Aries uh, thing. Yeah. I don't know, but you, know, I, I, you realize I didn't have, I wasn't putting out music for 10, 15 years, and I had catalogs sitting on my hard drive. I just wasn't gonna put it out because it didn't reach my standard of me what I saw in my head. So it's like, if right. I can't put out what I see in my head, I'm not putting it out at all. But all last year, this year, has been me just putting shit out in whatever state it's in, because it's the best I know I know I can get done at the moment. And mm-hmm. that, that shit is making a big difference. Not, nothing that's been put out is like all my vision in my head. But like, if I'm seeing element enough elements, I'm like, no, nah, this is, I gotta be happy. Because I, you know, five years ago, I wasn't putting out shit. They, and, right, 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 right. Now, that's, now let that's me a ask, blessing within itself. Yeah. Is a part of that a crutch? What you mean? Is it a, is it a defense? Me- For me, it's a defense mechanism. Yeah. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would, I, this ain't good enough. Oh, man, I hear this little sound over here. Uh, think about the first thing I said about Reese's mix, right? Um, like, yo, it sounds in here that I don't hear that I know we're there. Yeah. And then I said, but maybe mm. it's the compressed version you sent send me the uncompressed drink but mm. i was i was 
I knew what I was looking for and I wasn't hearing. Yeah. Sounds that were there that you didn't, that wasn't there. Wow, that's yeah, deep exactly. though. Now, now on the uncompressed version, everything was there. And like <clears throat> the drums you played underneath um, the, the sample. Yeah. I had them exaggerated more as far as the volume. Right. He's got them tucked in the cut. So when on that that first bar where it's just the drums that you played, they're not as prominent as I had. Yeah, yeah. And you know but what? I, I actually, I actually, I, see, this is why I, I think I said it's good for us to do committee moving forward. I was just rushing through this mix because it had to be ready by Monday, I thought. But that, I, I'm glad you said that because like where your, where your vocals come in at first, they sound a little bare by themselves. And yeah, having the drums up would probably nestle them in there. Because then, then you said later, your voice kind of settles in not too far afterwards. So I, I think I hear what you're talking about. I didn't mean yeah, to cut. So, no, you're good. So there, like, mm -hmm. there were subtle things. Again, mm -hmm. the, 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 the right, add right, track right. with the, with the echo on it. Like, mm -hmm. in the headphones, you can hear it better. And in, in the car, it, it's almost non-existent. Oh, um, really? Okay. Mm. Yeah. But, but, but I don't know that that's a bad thing. Like when I, cause I'm, I I'm listening to it, like how I, I mixed it how I wanted it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I had a certain vision and I like his mix better. If I step, if I take myself out of it, mm -hmm. I love what he did with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and the, the thing, like the, the thing that, his best attribute to me is his ability to clean up vocals. Yes. Like yeah, yeah. he 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 was able to DS mm -hmm. vocals incredibly. And to me, that was the, mm. the greatest attribute wow. of okay. that mix. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. And I know for a fact how much work goes into that. Now there's just programs you can use, et cetera. But when you start doing that and trying to compress stuff, sometimes you lose words and you, none of that was lost. So like, to me, that was the super dope part of that. The whole mix is clean. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to discount it at all. Right, but right, right. what he did with the, the vocals, as far as the cleanliness of the sound yeah. was, Dope to me. I'm not about to put that much time into my vocals. I'm sorry. <laughs> Could I do it? Yeah. Am I gonna do it? Nope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but if you build the vocal chain, you you know you can kind of have some of that stuff. But okay. Um, yeah. So like I said, when I go back, I'm like, yo, yeah, he's definitely he's skilled. There's no two ways about okay. it. The boy is skilled. You know what I'm saying? So um, and that and that was. That was like that that suggestion again. Once I got out of my own way, I'm like, yeah, let's shoot it to him. Shoot, let's see what happens. The worst that can happen is we don't like it anymore. Yeah. Right. When I listen to it, I'm like, yo, nah, mm -hmm. yeah, I can see where the ball coming from. And and Okay. The thing is I can see his vision for the mix. And I, I understand where he was going. And I'm like, yo, that's cool. Cause that's probably more in line with what most people how most people would hear it. Mm -hmm. I'm just focusing on all this stuff. I'm like, nah, I'm asking the debt for a reason. But yeah. we know but that's personal. Right. Right. But, but that's personal. That's personal. But let me ask you this though. Okay, it's a defense mechanism. So you didn't go to your defense mechanism. Do you get yourself credit for not going to yeah. your defense mechanism? Okay. Yeah, right. but 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 more than anything, I gotta give credit to Alex. Because Alex Alex would force me to be like, yo, man. Unless you're going to get okay. this joint to sound like noticeably different, <laughs> like, like I was sitting Alex and Mix, I'm like, yo, I did. I, he like, y'all ain't hear this shit. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna do that. Come, come on, dog. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, he probably right. You know what I'm saying? Or like, I would if if you know KP did it. I just like, all right, cool. That's what he heard. So let's rock with it. But it's easy for me to separate myself when I didn't when I didn't do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know so that that's the the wild thing but yeah it's definitely a defense mechanism for me uh the mind okay like, I'll, I'll sit on some stuff forever just like yo there's a sound missing 
I don't know what it is, but I can't do nothing with this till I find it. <laughs> <laughs> Me, now, I know exactly what it sounds like. There, there are things, specific things that I could look at in here that like, yeah, well, I like this, I like this, I like that. I could go through a list, but that's normally me. So I'm like, yo, I'm trying to do everything against what I would normally do. So I'm like, yo, are the key elements that the average listener wants to hear, are they there? I was like, okay, yeah, the key elements the average mm-hmm. listener gets out there. But like, I, I make beats for producers too. So I'm like, yo, but I, if this, mm. if this, if I could wow this producer with this, like, I like to have the sample pan it back and forth slowly, uh, you know, throughout the, the main chop pan it back. Okay. I like to have the other sounds kind of doing little dances and coming up to the forefront every once in a while and maybe even pausing the, the verse uh, to make sure a certain sound gets the, um, gets the stage. But, and your, and your echoes, your ad libs and your, and your delays, I actually liked what you were doing with your ad libs and delays because I saw that as a stylistic, uh, an engineering and a stylistic kind of treat or trick. So I hear what you mean also with the delays. But like you said, he had a vision with the mix and I saw his and I was like, oh shit. This shit is dope. So, Plus, he did some arrangement tricks in it I liked. See, mm. now I didn't like those. Word. Mm. I had a feeling <laughs> nah. that might that might not sit where we said I was going to hold ahead. Yeah, I was, that's exactly what I was about to say. This, this is there. so good right now. Go ahead. <laughs> there, there's Man. two of them. There's two of them. One of them I could swallow. The other one I was like, yeah, I wouldn't have done that at all. Is it so, the turntable um, drink? It's not the turntable drink. It's the fact that the turntable drink eliminates stuff that was critical to that piece of the song in my opinion okay so it's not the effect it's the fact that where it was placed at robs the song of something in my opinion were there other sounds nobody else is gonna know yeah but nobody else is gonna know (laughs) nobody else will know that yeah nobody else will know that you me and (laughs) reach nobody else will know that right Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But but to me, I that yeah, that I, I wouldn't have done that. Not there. Yeah. But but when I get past, I'm like, yo, it's cool and it's a it's a dope little element. And he had another drop somewhere where I was like, Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. But it don't bother me as much as the turntable play. But yeah. wow. But again, okay. but again but again, that's that's nitpicky. You know what, what I there. what I what I know what I was trying to do right there, and it's not yeah. happening now. That's yeah. it. it. And so, again, nobody <laughs> else knows that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's That's true. And that shit can eat away at you. That shit will yes, eat away. Yes, yes, yes. That can eat away at you. The more you hear it, it's, that, it's, it's gonna be there. But I don't mind. Like, again, not I in this case. Like, like KP, KP has a trick that he does that mm. that drives me crazy because, because he, <laughs> He leans on it a lot, and it's it's dope. It's a dope trick. I understand it. I would never try to do it. I don't think I could execute on it the same way he executes on it. You mean uh, KP fucked them niggas up? That dude? Uh, uh, Kendall somebody PB. you know. Oh, okay. This, I, the dude I, I, that, I, I, like, yeah, Alex is man. He's from Chicago. Yeah, oh, 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 okay. No, I'm thinking about the, the, the dude that be doing Drake beat. KP fucked them. Oh, nah, nah, okay. nah. All right, all right, all right. Um, this dude mixed Alex's beat, right? <laughs> yeah, he, he, he makes a, a lot of he makes a lot of stuff. Oh, did the okay, KP right. do therapy? Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I asked yeah. Alex today so I can get him credit. Uh, make sure. Yeah, I credit yeah. yeah. KP, because KP's dope, man. He's dope. Okay. He's got dope production. He's dope. Yeah. But yeah, he he does some stuff, especially if you don't send him stems, you just send him a, a, a um an instrumental track. He okay. he does some things where I'm like, all right, where I feel it, but I wouldn't try it because I don't know that I could execute on it as well as he does. Yeah. And, and that's you know so like you were saying when, when you listen to stuff and you listen to styles but i always i always fall back and defer because i'm like yo they had a vision and again i'm listening at the or listening to this from a very selfish perspective yeah. and that's not that's not always helpful you know what i'm saying so, mm-hmm. yeah it, that, that's exactly what it is yeah. But, it, but again, it's also a defense mechanism. You know what I'm saying? So it's easier for me to to get out of my own way and, and sometimes just let other people manage it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And and then I can get critical of mixes too. Though. I'm like, ah, nah, that's not, that's not it. Like the quality, the quality that we've gotten 
the quality of the joints I've heard from Reese is is, is up there. You know what I'm saying? It's it's up there, and um, you know you can't you can't argue with that. So that that honestly, if I'm gonna be honest, if he had probably won before I even really listened to it, because as soon as I heard the the vocal, I was like, yo, he got rid of most of the siblings. That's mm-hmm. dope. You know what I'm saying? And then I was like, all right, so did he over compress it? And then I'm like, nah, yo, everything is still coming through. I'm like, yo, he's word. All right, it sounded like soft. It sounded like cotton on the beat, to tell the truth. Yeah, that's, no, he, that's, he that's, that was the reason I, I actually said, yo, I want to send it off to him was because I didn't feel like your vocals were getting enough shine in the in the first mix. I felt like there was some stuff that was going to get mixed. So I was like, yo, let's just see what Mick Breeze can do because I saw he'd already done summertime. He just mixed vocals, and one more was pretty much just vocals too. Um, yeah, yeah, you know how Cook mixes his beats. So I was like, "Yo, if, if it's a vocal problem, let's send it to Reese, see what happens." I was like, I, "Even if it's an L, at least we learn something and we get we start establishing a relationship." Right. Now, again, I would say I on my mix, on, on my mix, I would the the elements of the beat were as important as the lyrics to me. Yeah. Because if you if you go back and listen to it now, so let let's just have a discussion. Yeah, if you go back and listen to it. It's actually a conversation between me and the beat. So most of my mm. verse is responding to the yeah. Yeah. If you oh if that's you track, right. If you go back and listen to it, most of my verse is responding to that. So it's okay. da, 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 talk to me. Da, da, da. Oh, that's the way you like it, huh? Da, da, da. Okay. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Da, da, da. Well, I swear to be respectful, mom. Da, da, da. You know, oh the, wow, so that's dope. The, the song okay. is actually me talking back, which is why your vision for the video, when you were saying like you know, almost as the 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 person the singing, yeah. I was like, yo, yeah, all right, I'm in. It's because you told but, me that you were ta- having a conversation with people. Yeah, yeah. That's how you did it in the real, though, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much the same as the real, but 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 yeah, but. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But um, so that that was kind of the, so. But that's me, why you're saying it's important that the beat. The instrumentation is, was yeah. equally important to right, right. the vocal. It, it wasn't. I didn't want the vocal to be dominant. I was actually more interested in that the stuff like, and that the um the uh the, like the percussion sounds that you use because I thought they all played critical elements yeah. in how it came across. So you'll hear they're in in my mix, they're all equal to all the other instrumentation. Yeah. But I brought the voice down a lot from yours. But yeah. but again, that's a lot of crap for people to play, yo, I don't give two shits about none of that he talking. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the no, but so I, I feel it because I, no, I know but this is gonna yeah. do sound thinner. Now they yeah. that's my problem with a lot of mixes today period is the samples get thinned out, and you lose a lot of the weight and that huskiness and that and that and that mm-hmm. that that that, that, yes. hit, uh, that you get from the records and tape. I don't hear that in a lot of people's mixes, so that's something I do. I like to have more body in the sample, so I get that they they, they definitely sound like they're more in the background. The drums are up front. I like it a hundred times better than mine when I remove myself from it. Like if I if I stop thinking about the creative part of it and think about the the audience part of it. Yep. He 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 mixed a song like you're supposed to mix it for everybody else to listen to. Everybody except for musicians. Mm. <laughs> which is how which is how music should be mixed. They say it's a of a good engineer. Good engineer is gonna right. right. tell you right. like tell you when you're wrong. Yeah. Right. right. You know, yeah. Somebody, yeah. somebody be like, hey. no, you're doing it you're wrong and this is why. That's what I hope to build in our relationship with them. Like I don't this is the only mix I think it's just a here. I give you the mix, and you give me back what I what I just give me back whatever you can because it was a crunch. It should mm-hmm. be a dialogue back and forth between the artist and the engineer, and there should be some tweaks back and forth until you guys kind of until you get to the point where your engineer can just be like, okay, I know my customer now. I can, right. I can pretty much read his mind and just do what he knows. So there, there's more like if if she'd wanted to say, yo, let's take one more stab at it or one more run at it, I'd be willing to pay for another hour of Reese's time. Yeah. And try and, try and get a happy medium mix to be uh, honest. 
Yeah, yes. because because I, I think where it's at is cool. Okay. Like, I, I, I'm not I saying it, cool. Right? Like, I'm not saying I think it's cool. Like, um, um, settling. I, I, I like it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't know that I would be that understanding on everything because there's there's certain stuff where I'm just like, yeah, no, nah, I can't flex on that. But, <laughs> but you know, on on that, and again. Take, taking me out of it and thinking about it from the perspective of a listener, mm-hmm. I, I think the mix is dope, yo. I think it's, I really think it's dope. So yeah, yeah. he did, he definitely did his thing on it. Yeah, I, I've been saying he's my, he's he's definitely like the engineer I've been looking for so far. Like, yeah, he, he did his he thing. This is enough of modern mixing techniques with a respect and understanding of, you know, kind of like the way we like music mixed. I think mm-hmm. we can, the, by working together, we can really get the sound that we really, really want. Like, I, right. this, this is this is way closer than I've ever been to the sound that I'm looking for. And so, I, like, I'm like gas. Right. I feel how close we are. Like, here, right. one more, one more was my 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 little sign. Like, oh, yeah, that was a wake up call right there. We're real that, close to getting. Mm-hmm. We, we have it within reach. I couldn't find that engineer before. So, mm-hmm. come on, you yeah, find one more. Was it? One now, more definitely. now you said uh, dependent he, the music, the mix is more for the audience. What if it's Reese is good with these type of full sounding beats, like a like a cookbook beat is so loud. I remember him saying like if if I tune in anymore, I'm gonna mess up the quality of the track. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let leave it wait, leave it where it is. You know what I'm saying? So maybe is it the the type of beat or Cause he done all this without stems. I yeah, think he did. He did a lot. Yeah. Of, he had stems for this one, but he didn't have any direction or instruction. Ah, uh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. Really, gotcha, I, gotcha. I, I trust. I seen. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'm just gonna trust what he does, and that's why I didn't question it when it came back. I listened. I did have to send it back for a tweet today, actually, uh, she, because I, I noticed when I listened to the instrumental, there was some voices mm-hmm. in the background. And and he thought that, that that we put the voices in there for texture, but I don't, it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't for texture. Somehow, just some vo- voices got in there. He cleaned it up and sent that back. But other than that, I was like, I'm just taking whatever he gives me as long as there's right. nothing like egregiously wrong with it. I mean, you should have had him up to my ad libs then. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It was funny. I actually sent him a text back before. I told you that. That I actually sent okay. him back saying, yeah. "Yo, hold on, I want to kind of bring the, the delays and the ad libs up a little bit." But then uh, when, you, when you hit me and you were like, yo, you were cool with it? I was like, yo, if the artist is cool with it, I'm leaving it alone. It's, it's, it's straight. Like, it's, it's it's dope, yo. Like, I I, I came and... I know like, what you're I, saying. I, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm nitpicking it to be funny. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. it's, no, it ain't even it, it, be funny, though. It's something we got to do. We got to be able to talk about this shit. Right, like, for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, without, yeah being, right. it, without being... You know, bothered by you know whatever is said in, in a situation like this. Even with like with Reese, like I feel bad for saying like, yo, there's some things that that I didn't love about it. But yeah. nah, there's so much I loved about it. I'd rather be able to be honest with him, like, yo, yes, you killed this mix. This mix is more amazing than anything I could have ever imagined. That's the first and foremost thing I want to be here. And then you know, if if we ever had to have a conversation like this, to be about another song, not about this. One. Yeah, it won't have to be yeah. as uncomfortable. By not, because I know how I feel when I say, oh, it's cool. That's what made me laugh, because I, yeah, it's cool. All right. It's I cool. I'm going to get you on the back. <laughs> yeah, it's like, man, fuck that joint for real, man. <laughs> that's what it's cool means. Right. right. That's, what, that's, that's what it used to mean for me. Was it? Right, right, right. It's cool. All right. I got you. You know what I'm saying? But but going forward, I think you, you should. But like you said, you gave it to him without any direction. Now, I I've done that. In the beginning, summertime came out that way because I was sitting right there, drop it right here, like man, it'll be dope if I did this or you mean something like this, and it does work that way. Like I was supposed to sit in with that session with him on set. Was it Saturday? I went there and he was gonna work I was on. Actually hoping you won't be in there. <laughs> we went. To, uh, we had a few uh, technical difficulties, so it pushed the time back to like about. I got it there about ten thirty. I had to work at twelve. Yeah, that, that right. night. So, so we finished right then and there, and I had like an hour to get to work. So I was like, so he said we closed up shop anyway. So he's just gonna do it at the crib or whatever. So, but yeah, originally, if everything had gone well from four to eight, 
And then from eight to 10, we just gonna sit down and work on the great skull shit and everything. Like, all right, that's cool. He, he, he's like, I'm mixing that stuff today. I'm like, oh, what? I'm like, all right, better. So yeah, it didn't work out that way. And and maybe this is the, right, maybe this is the product of it not working out that way. You know what I'm saying? Having that, because he's kind of asking me to stay. So I'm like, yeah, you know, all right, I'll do that. So maybe it was looking for some type of direction at that point. Yeah, well, and, and what he did is amazing. So I, right, you know, right, right. I, I don't want ever, ever, ever word to ever come to him like there was there was a problem with it because I think I'm so amazed by it that I just don't I don't want him to think that just because we're discussing the details of it, yeah, he can or unhappy with it by any means. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah, it, it yeah. definitely is in that. And 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 like I said, the the thing for me, once I listened to it, like I listened to it, the the so. So I sent it in a text at first, mad compressed. And I listened to it like, I was like, this shit. Like, I'm not even going to lie. So I hit him back like, yo, you guys sent me an uncompressed version. Dog. I'm missing a lot of stuff in this. And then when we got the uncompressed version, I'm like, we're all right. This is it. You know what I'm saying? And when, when I started listening for stuff, I knew it had passed the smell test. You know, it's like it, okay, right? Okay, I got you. Right, it's already like when yeah, right. when you start like, when, when you start mm -hmm. listening for little stuff that again nobody else knows is there. You're like, oh, all right, there it goes. You being right, you nitpicking at that point. Yeah. It's like the, but, with that, but with that's, that verse, that's the salute. Honestly, that's the right. salute. You it know is, what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. And that that's when I was like, yo, if this is what he heard, I'm cool with it because. Mm -hmm. It, it sometimes you just gotta get out of your own way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that that's how I felt about that. Like I said, now there's some stuff that I can't say that I'm always be that agreeable. I, I'm not. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, everything but is not he, gonna work. Every right, everything. But not I, gonna I, work. I would also want him or anybody else to push back. Like, yo, dog, you're wrong. Like yeah. you're right. You're wrong. You're wrong. Right. I, I get it's you, but nah, that's that's worse. Like right. me and Alex do that sometimes. He'll be like, yo, I was going to do X or Y. And he'll do a rewrite. I'm like, dog, your first, the first joint was better. He actually rewrote his verse to an, um Golden Age after he heard me and Cook's book verse. Oh. And then he recorded, I'm like, rock with whatever one you want to rock with. But I think the original verse was better. Cause mm. I think it was more you, mm. you know what I'm saying? And then he went back to his original joint. I'm like, yeah, that joint sets it off lovely. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I think we we all suffer from that on occasion. So definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, everybody, I, I everybody called me a perfectionist back in the day. So I, I, I kind of carry that. Like that's part of what I carry forward into, into this now. It's like, all right, well, I gotta battle being the perfectionist. Even though I know that's not what it was, it's still like a little chip on my shoulder now. It's like it, it fucks with me a little bit. So now I'm like, okay, let me try and make sure that I'm not being a perfectionist in this, in this scenario. I'm not going to be viewed as one. So I, I but don't you, know. But that. you got, but that's that's what you bring to the table though. Yes. You, know what I'm yeah. you that that's the element that you bring. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I, when I was, when I was keeping a buck, the only reason I even agreed like to the reach joint was because of when we talked about one more Wednesday. And hearing how you felt about some of the things that he did in that mix, I was like, "Word, all right, yeah, let's send it to him." And then, like, like I, sometimes I could be short in text, and then you're like, "Damn, is that coming across the right way, or is it being misinterpreted?" So <laughs> then I'll come back and over-explain, and they're like, "Oh, now it really looks crazy." So yeah. you know, and then like, but I gotta remember, yo, we all grown men at the end of the day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And <laughs> Mm -hmm. The 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 beauty of this is none of it is personal. Mm -hmm. exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like I I like when when I sent you to let me let me think about it and you replied like take your time, I was like, damn, yo, like I don't need that much time, fam. Just give me a second. Right. But but the but the but the other part of that was like your response didn't come across like, oh here you go in the bullshit. It's like, yo, yeah, think about it, fam. Like it's your project, it's your joint. Yeah. You need to be satisfied with it. So yeah, take your time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but you can see how if we get on some bull crap, oh, then yeah. you can it could easily be misinterpreted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. So 
That's that's. Yeah. And I'm speaking from experience with that. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like that's you know experience. Yeah. You know, and but in know, your in your defense, it wouldn't hurt to say something, and you never know what could happen. Can you mix it again and do A, B, and C? That's not so bad. That's. Yeah. I don't think he'd worry about it. This case. I think he was just like taking it. For, oh, okay, okay. Let me make this an exercise for myself and an opportunity for me to learn and grow. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. I like I said, when I when I listen. Okay. I I I had this like this is this is what this song is gonna be right and it it that's that's cool but when when somebody else hears it and they hear something different to me you gotta. Huh? Let's put it in this case. Um, but yeah, you know, when somebody else hears it, um, you gotta you gotta think about what what did they hear mm -hmm. that differs from what you heard, and even more importantly, what really makes the most oh. sense. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Um, and that that's where I got to the point where I was like, yo, if again, if I take my ego out of this, so what the board did is dope. So. I can't. No, it's not your ego, though. It's your ear. Yeah, that's that's. I, yeah, I think it's. Important. Yeah, that's different. You don't, you don't downplay. Right. Too, like your creative vision is still an important part. Right. Of it. Right. So, that's why I want yeah. you to understand. It's not your ego. It's your. I see ear. what you're saying. I see. Right. 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 At least having the conversation and saying like, "Yo, I, at least you know, I wish the vocals were this, or I wish this and that." I, I think this time again, what I don't think was the case for either either one of us. I don't think we had time for either one of us because we thought we had to be ready by Monday. Right. But so I don't think either one of us should have been raising too much if we didn't hear nothing this time. But I'm fully cool with saying, you know what? If, if we want to hold off and get it right, I'm fully cool with saying, yeah, let's hold off and, and get it right. But I, I, it's a done deal. I get it. Yeah, I think it is right. I think that's the at the end of the day. I think that's the bottom line. Like I think it is right. Good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And that's that's really my point. I okay. don't. I don't. I don't have an issue with it at all. Like. Again, I could nitpick with the best of them, man. If it was up to me, we never release no music. I, I'm just sitting back nitpicking everything. I'm keeping a buck, yo. Like, oh, you a fool, you know that. I'm being, but yo, that, I'm being honest, D. Like, you know, I nitpick it to death. Like, yeah, I that's my you. wife. Shit, tell I you. Ain't nothing crazy. Just, yeah, just sit over there and smile. Just say nothing that they can hear in this. <laughs> Time to snitch. Hey, what y'all talking about? Yeah. Somebody else knew the song. <laughs> oh, yeah, we talk about um. Uh oh, uh oh. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> right, right. Guess the parents. <laughs> what you we got right. we got we got muscles Malone in the house. <laughs> What's going on? It was good. It was good. All, All right. right. So, oh. Yeah. Now we are just talking about um the the mix that uh, Reese did on um keep keep the change. And oh. like I was, I was just talking about like, you know, some of the differences in the way we mixed it. But what about his mix? I like more than mine. So, mm -hmm. um, but that was that was it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was it. That was the forty-five minute conversation. But it was good to hear <laughs> from a. It's good to hear from a port from, from, from a producer's ear. You know, I was trying to let it go, and Demond kept trying to force me into being angry, yo. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to bring the ugly out of me so he can against me, yo. I'm not giving you Nathan. Come on, like you mad. Go ahead, say you mad. Say you mad. <laughs> say you mad. <laughs> right, writing it down. Look, if they're back then, nah, yeah, you, uh -huh, you on the radar too, fam. <laughs> radar too, yeah. Well, this might be a setup for next week on Felipe. Uh -huh. uh -oh. It's a total setup, yo. It's a total oh, yeah, setup. I'm setting that one up. I'm watching, I'm watching both of y'all, man. Mm -hmm. it'd, be, it'd be your own people, yo. It'd be your own people. <laughs> right, right. They even said it. They were like, oh, man, but these great dog cats, man. He even took out his boy. What are they doing over there? Like, All right, okay. We just trying to take control of this platform, fool. Yo, Alex. <laughs> Mid school was giving you big props, man. What's about uh, um, for, the, for the song, he said he was talking to somebody else about therapy today. He he, uh, he had the song, man. He oh was, yeah, all the words, man. Everything, man. Yeah, so it, it's it's getting some good run, man. People are really talking about the uh, the message and everything, man. I love the way you uh, deliver on that, man. It sounded so natural, 
and so, yeah. so effortless, man. It didn't sound like you were really trying at all. And I think that's what where a lot of the beauty in that track came through, man. It was, it was raw, natural emotion. Yanni said the same thing. She's like, yeah, let's just be raw. She helped me put it into words, actually. She's oh. Like, yeah, it was just raw, natural emotion. There was no effort needed for trying to figure out the flow, none of that. It just poured out. So, yeah, it's, it's exemplary. Yes. Yeah. I know, I know y'all can't see me, but it, it, it's, it's like he took that conversation, the conversation we all had about our, our pops and everything, yep. and the way it sounds, it's like you don't want to have that conversation, but I'm going to have this conversation with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> well done. I don't think I've ever heard anybody hit that that from that perspective and that angle. And that's like the realest angle of perspective and the most obvious one I think there is out there, man. But it's a mm -hmm. man to acknowledge that, yo, maybe I need to look at this differently. The way you do that in the song is that was that was special, bro. That's that's something special you did there, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah it was it was like the that's reckoning, you know what I'm saying? And and understanding like, yo, the the picture is always painted a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. that that yeah, that was that was masterful, fam. That was and masterful. and is one verse, man. I like I I love shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. <laughs> it's straight to the point, mm -hmm. and nobody, no one. This is a whole lane. Your whole lane is a lane. No one says you be trashing pops. You know, all oh, my pop wasn't there, and this, not the other. Nobody's willing to have that tough conversation in therapy. Oh boy! Oh yeah, thank you, man. thank y'all. Yeah. Who, who came up with the title? You, that was your title. Oh him, man. Really? Yeah. Oh okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, I really, <clears throat> I was thinking about naming it something else, um, mm -hmm. but then when I said the musical therapy at the end, I was like, okay, I just I stick with the therapy. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, man, it was I, it was intentional to make it one verse because I wanted to, I wanted it to be like a, a continuation, mm -hmm. um. Like the mm. whole, like the whole purpose of this that I'm, that I'm working on is I wanted to show my growth, especially from the last combo we had when I was last on here, my growth of uh, of just accepting who he is. Because I really, what T B said that last time, I really took that to heart. Like, man, you gotta, you gotta really just accept what it, it is, what it is. You know what I'm saying? And um, that really hit home. So I was just, I want to show my progression. Yeah, I want to put my anger in it, in it. You know what I'm saying? That I was angry, upset, and all that. But then I want to show my progression. Like, okay, he's still human. You know, um, he's still living. He, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, fathers are, are gone. You know what I'm saying? Not on earth. You know what I'm saying? So mine's still here. So why not try to reconcile it? You know what I'm saying? Why not try to talk to him? Why not try to, you know, understand where he's coming from? So I want to show that growth. You know. That, that I'm doing that, and then I want it to be like the celebration for Father's Face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Has, has he heard it? Has he heard it? Do you know? I don't know yet. So he he will usually he usually would text me. You know, like Facebook message me, because um, he always we have like a different phone for some odd reason. I don't know why. But he he usually like Facebook message me like. Uh, like he, even my song, he like, man, that song dope. That song dope. Like, yo, son, that song is nice, man. I like it. Like, where can I get it? So he ain't hit me back yet with it. So I don't know if he probably trying to process it, you know, or yeah, right, you know. He ain't hit you back yet with it. It ha he's listening. It's on repeat. Yeah. I know. He, he hey, ain't, he ain't hit me back yet. So I, I'm pretty sure he probably processing it. You Still know, but thinking. Yeah, I, I might, thinking. I might, um, just hit him up. You know, just let him know. Mm, you know, go ahead, even better. That. That's. That's yeah. all part of the therapy. Well done, young man. Well yeah. done. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, had, we had some small talks. We had some small mm -hmm. talks before that song, but it wasn't like the talk I needed. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. we gonna we gonna get it. All I right. got I got some more stuff that I'm 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 uh I'm putting out there, man. Like <laughs> y'all y'all get ready to know y'all getting ready to know me. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Been the MC and the bravado, but now it's time to mm. see the man. Like, yeah, get, yeah. Y'all get ready to know me, man. Like I, mm -hmm. I, I got a story, man. And this, this ain't no, no fake. You know, there's no fake shit. This all real. This, this me. This man. See, it, it all connects with me, my pops, 
my brother, my mom, and my brother's pops. You know mm. what I'm saying? And it's it's a whole story to it, man. I, and I, I sat down with my brother the other day, had a long talk with him. You know what I'm saying? Like just asking him, you know, is it cool if I put this on on paper? If it's cool if I record it? Like, man, man, man go ahead and do it, man. Go ahead, man. I'm good with it, you know? So it, y'all, y'all get ready to know me. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a damn. I'm gonna be like, damn. <laughs> you know, but it's just something I need to, I need to do, man. I need to do it. Like I'm tired of, I'm tired of harboring this stuff in. You know what I'm saying? And I just need to do it. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, man. If that, if that's, if that's gonna bring you some, some peace, then yeah. You know, especially if you, you know, you got, you got buy-in from some of the people that. That, that could be impacted by it. Yeah, you know, but that's <clears throat> that, that's a part of your growth cycle, but I'll, I'll tell you like I told you a couple weeks ago, but don't don't lose sight of all the stuff that you have accomplished, fam, because you, at the end of the day, you've done an amazing job at this point, you know what I'm saying? So the, all those things, the good, the bad, and the ugly have all helped to shape who you are right now, you know what I'm saying? And, and your children at the end of the day are getting one hell of a father as a result of all this other stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't celebrate yourself in in the midst of process and everything. That's, that's the only thing I could say, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I wasn't in that same situation, so I don't, I don't have a frame of reference, but mm-hmm. I, I've, Three and a half years now, I've just been watching you almost every day. Yo, we talk, we talk every other day at the very least, and we don't talk every day. You know what I'm saying? And I, I've just been watching you, fam, and you, you are definitely dope, bro. I mean, I'm not talking about music; I'm talking about as a person. You are yeah, dope. There you, you go. So, yes. So, you know, get, you know, get yourself. How much you doing, man? You doing so much? It's like, yo, where does he, where does he get the battery for that? So, man, man <laughs> recognize man that you you're doing a lot man and, and, and you know it's it's okay to give yourself a break and a rest if you need that man <laughs> yeah that's right but you run hard bro that's why i'm doing the wind at that age i was on my hardest hustle too <laughs> you, know, get that too. you heard me that's uh, why i'm gonna be on the wednesday call <laughs> <laughs> hey man i ain't gonna front man i'll be whenever i get a chance to go to sleep i'm out <laughs> I, feel I feel you. I'm out, man. But, but yeah, man, it's yeah. Thank, man. Thank y'all so much, man. I I be needing that, you know what I'm saying, from y'all, like, cause I some, a lot of times I be thinking like I don't be doing enough, you know what I'm saying, and uh, you know, these, <laughs> these just my thoughts, man. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and I just I I, I want to put it on wax. I want to put it out there. Um. And this is like, like I talk to y'all, like I be, I be wanting to be on these calls, man. But it just be, man, it be so much happening, man. So I just, man, you got a life to live. You got two, two, a toddler and a newborn, man. Yeah, man. It shit don't good. line up all the time. It don't line up all the time. Man. Yeah, nah, nah cause I, but I, I gotta make a better attempt to be on it because this is, this is good, man. You know what I'm saying, like talking to y'all and just releasing like like it's almost like then getting stuff out that be on my mind mm-hmm. my, uh, at first my only way of getting stuff out is through music you know what i'm saying but um but um yeah this this is good for me and then just putting it on wax you know what i'm saying i think that's really gonna really yeah. gonna like help me release it even better you know because i feel good i feel real good uh recording there you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, my wife even heard me. She was like, man, you was down there emotional. Like I was getting loud, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> and uh and I kept like, you know, I did like a whole bunch of takes, man. You know what I'm saying? And I had I just wanted to make sure I, I conveyed it and got it out the way I wanted, you know, and put some emotion into it, you know. And uh oh. yeah, man, it, it, just, it, it felt good recording that one, man. It felt really good. Ladybug. When did you record it? Man, I recorded that. Who recorded that? It was uh it was like last it was last Sunday or Saturday, it was like last weekend, something like that. Okay. Um and I okay. I wrote it. Mm-hmm. I wrote it probably about 
two, three, about three weeks ago, I wrote it. Okay. I was in my car. Ah. Roll, roll up in my car, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, just chilling, just just vibing out, you know what I'm saying? I was listening to the beat about 20, 30 times, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Roll it up in my car, uh, stood outside, rapping it, you know what I'm saying? Just spinning it to myself, and then I just, I was like, all right, I'm ready to get in the booth real quick and record this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, wow. okay. So let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Um, my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. Are you good? You good? And so let me ask you. Um, so you know the the message we exchanged uh, last week, and um, are are you glad that you went ahead and let it go now? The message we exchanged last weekend. But you were saying you wasn't sure if you wanted to to to, to go ahead and put it out. Mm. Coming off of coming off of um, you know the uh, the hills of one more. You didn't. You, I think you was like. You don't want to change the energy. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm glad you said that. You opening the door for me, but go ahead. Go ahead, because I got something <laughs> to say, though. Go ahead. Yeah, nah, yeah. That, that's definitely my question. Like, are you... Mm -hmm. you know, Good question. Are, Good you, question. are you glad you, you went ahead with it? Because oh, I, I, I didn't want to push, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I thought it was important. So I was trying to be, like, the, the kind of neutral... <laughs> you know what no, I mean? no. like like a rough touch like uh. <laughs> no nah, i got you now nah, I, I feel no nah, i feel good that i put it out there um okay. um i was just i was just thinking like you know one time you know what i'm saying was was, was hype you know what i'm saying got you like yeah you know what i'm saying so i just felt like <laughs> something like that should have followed it you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying cuz i just felt like one time was like i it make you feel like you dope, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get you hype. And then I come with the, man, I ain't talk to my pops, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's how I felt, you know what I'm saying? But, but I, I, when, I, when I sat back and thought about it, I'm like, okay. Um, I think she said it, and then I think uh, uh, Sha said it. He was like, man, you know, uh, music, everybody listens to music. Music mm -hmm. is different for everybody. Everybody takes it, takes that piece of the pie of the music differently, you know. And um, mm -hmm. when, when you all said that, I was like, okay, that makes sense, you know. So, nah, mm -hmm. I feel I feel good that it's out there because okay, yeah. I get I get people hitting me up like, yo, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I didn't know it was like that, you know. what I'm saying like even people at my job, you know, what I'm saying uh, we had a uh, like a. Uh, uh, we, we, we on group me, like all the teachers, staff, everybody. And uh, we be doing like these uh, motivational days and you just got to post like, what's your motivation and stuff like that. And you know, I talked about my kids and my family and stuff like that. I brought y'all up, you know, in the music and then they had asked, you know, for one of my tracks and I put therapy on there. And then they was just like, yo, then I, and I had like, other co-workers, you know, come talk to me about the same thing, like the same thing mm -hmm. they going through, you know, with, through their life, you know. So it was, it was, it was good. People on Facebook hitting me up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, no, nah, I'm happy about it. Happy we released it, you know. Yeah, I still want to shoot the video. I think the video will have more of, of an impact of what I'm trying to convey. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, any visuals is always good with a song, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That was just my vision to put it out there with the video, but nah, I'm 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 happy, you know, what I'm saying that it's out there listening. So, you need any help uh, with anything on the video side? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is um, I didn't do it yet. You know, my my wife been tired too, but she's gonna uh, she's gonna record me. She has a, a professional camera. Okay. Um, so she's gonna take the footage. I mean, it's it's gonna be basic, man. You know, I'm just gonna be sitting in the chair. Um, she has like a uh, the green screen or a black backdrop, and I just want it like my vision is. Uh, so you know, most deaf black on both sides, like the album mm -hmm. cover, yeah, like his face, but then the the background is black. Yeah, yeah. that's how I want the video to be. Like I want to be in a black background, and I'm just like I want it, like focused on my face. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I'm just rhyming. I'm just I'm just telling my story. In Which that direction are you bearing the light from? From above or in front of you? Like you have a, mm, mm. I got uh, I got a ring. I got the ring lights 
that big one. So I don't know. Nah, so yeah, let's talk before you do it. Cause I got some ideas that might be able to help. Like for example, with, with us black folks, those white lights and the ring lights and stuff, a lot of times they wash out our skin if we hear something with that. Exactly, that's what this is right here. That shit makes our skin look more natural and it looks more luscious and it looks more like chocolate. So people love that a lot more. You say if you use what? That's why I got this yellow light here right now. So I'm dark skin, I'm like, yo, this white light over here would make me look washed right now, so. (laughs) So, okay, so the the ring light I got, it got like the orange, you got the orange. uh, Oh, okay. Orange is good. Yeah. So yeah, it'd be dope to like maybe play around like maybe before you shoot, if maybe we play with a couple of different like show, send me pictures or just like t- uh, test shots of some of them. Mm. Like some really dope shit. Uh, just kind of go back and forth and come up with some dope, dope ways to like really try to capture what you want. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just I, and, and then like my vision for this like I want I want it to be like one long video. So if we do this one at the end say to be continued, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And then like the next video goes into, you know what I'm saying? The next song, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, I'm sitting in the chair. Now I'm actually talking to a therapist, you know what I'm saying? About what's going on. You know, Mm. like I I got a whole little vision, small little vision for it, man. It's really explaining my story, basically. So I, I I want this to really like touch, like, you know what I'm saying? relate to somebody. I want somebody to come in to like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like what you said is something I always want to get out, you know? Yeah. I, and it's all I, I want to be is just real, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be fabricating nothing, you know? And I don't mind people knowing my life, you know what I'm saying? And I, I took another, like, Font, like Fonte, one of my favorite records, favorite uh, artists, and he, you know what I'm saying? He said something like, uh, what do you say? Said something like, "Why does pain? Why does pain make a better artist?" You know what I'm saying? Like and that, and that that hit that touch. You know what I'm saying? Because that it do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Definitely, man. Yeah, you got, you got a story like that to tell, man. This is well, I was thinking about your uh, your favorite MC, man. But that that came to mind today. I was like, Yo, his favorite MC, his his, you know, one of Ghost's greatest weapons weapons is when he goes into that emotional chamber. And he, oh yeah. And he really talks about his real life pain. That's that's what makes a lot of mm-hmm. people gravitate to him and lock it, lock into him. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's all. I think that's all his all the favorite songs, at least from the ladies. Like all I got is you. I mean, people still love that. Oh song. my gosh, yeah, that's yeah. Still on repeat. Religious, yeah. religiously, yeah. yeah. But but that's why it was a good song to come after one more because, like I was telling them, it's it was therapy. You know what I'm saying? So it's not the tempo or what what's being said in the song. Most of the people, like that song, kind of humbled me because, like you said, people hit me in the DM about man, or uh, all that last post I posted. Old girl said, "Man, I can feel his pain. I hear him when I said my uncle died." You know what I'm saying? What? what, that, what, what it, go, uh, it's uh, it's on uh, Instagram. It was some girl, uh, my my girlfriend, her friend. Have she's streaming it, and somebody was filming her streaming it, mm. and the person filming it said, "Man, I can hit, I hit him, I, I feel his pain or something like that," and that's what people were saying. Like when I got the message, like, "Man, I feel you," but this song, I was hurting, but this song made me feel better, mm. or um, abused as a child, a kid in a candy store, all these things. Like people, I mean, I never find myself answering so many. Uh, not even compliments, but just kind of like therapeutic. I'm like, man, like it's, it's gonna be all right, man. Like, oh, man, and people start telling me their story. You know, man, my my mom in the hospital. One dude I've been talking to for a week. It's like, man, all right, it's cool. I think that's what made it better for that to come after one more because it was therapy. That was self therapy. All all those wrong decisions starting from the beginning of that song, getting beat. Like, oh yeah, it was a loser song. I was losing that whole time, get my beat up, all it. And just about two weeks ago, my pops was telling me, because we talked, but he's like, man, I went through your whole thing on YouTube and shit. I'm like, all right, that's cool. That's cool. I'm like, so what you think? Man, I can see your growth. I'm like, okay. It's certain things ain't on YouTube. Uh, this one song called I Got the Munchies, that's not on YouTube. Mm. All the stuff that I felt like that really rocked, bang, 
is not out there because of what I said about him. Mm-hmm. And then I got my sister out there. I got to think about my sister. She, you know, graduated, but I still think about my sister. She don't know all this stuff about pop. You know what I'm saying? Right. So she, she 20 something, you know what I'm saying? I'm 40, what, 44, 46, yeah. something like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's, just, I don't, she, she knows that side of him. All mm-hmm. straight A's with pop. You know what I'm saying? So trying to keep that in mind. And then, um, so I said all that to say that therapy is perfect. And then we should think of this thing like a great score album. Like Kareem said it all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then I come in, it's like listening to an album. So you want those first two to come in, boom, boom. And by the third one, we suddenly win. Cause this is hip hop. You teach hip hop. Mm-hmm. Hmm? You hear me? Yeah, you yeah, teach right. hip hop. That's amazing. That is right on time. The light, you have a consistent incoming and outgoing of hip hop. So give yourself more credit. I always make sure I tell my son that everybody give yourself more credit because a lot of times we don't give ourselves a little credit. Give yourself a little more credit and stuff like that. So, man, here, work here's well with me. Word. About what both y'all are saying though. Like even in your 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 process of healing, mm-hmm. you're still taking other people's feelings into consideration, which yes. is dope because you know, kind of conversation without compassion is is really malicious. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like I I, I guess conversation without that, compassion is malicious. But you you got a hundred thousand yeah. online life coaches now, right? And but all they're really telling us is F everything around you. Mm. That's that's as unhealthy as the other extreme. Mm. Talking about that lately. We've been talking about that a lot. A lot of the messages you get on social media and everybody's, hey, you just go off being by yourself. Fuck everybody else. Yeah. You don't need anybody. If any if they if they don't agree with you, fuck them. They're the right. And that, that's <laughs> right, not, that's right. not how wow. life is life ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We we all been in relationships. We all have different things we're trying to navigate. Mm-hmm. I don't want anybody around me that agrees with me 100 percent of the time. Shit, I don't agree with myself all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So to 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 understand yeah. that there there is a consequence to what mm-hmm. you do is important. Like you said, you you you're mindful of certain things because your sister has a a. a Right. Image. Wait, I don't, wanna, I, mean? I don't mean to cut you off, but that that abuse, I don't mean to cut you off, but that abuse as a child, that shit had to stop. He, my pop, if he listened to this one, because I'm, I'm waiting, like you said, you I ain't heard nothing back from this one. I ain't heard nothing yet from one more. If he listened from that beginning, he remember what happened at Wendy's. He want he want my uncle died. I don't mention nothing about him because my uncle is the one that was always around me. You know what I'm saying? When he died, my father died. I felt like that's why I felt that pain. Whoa, so, whoa, and, shit. You know what I'm saying? I heard I, that's like that's no. like my uncle. My uncle was like my pop. You know, and he knew my pop. You know what I'm saying? That's my mother's youngest brother. So he, I'm, he watching my father, his big homies, kid all the time. So, and then you loop it all the way back around to the end of it. Uh, abused as a child. He was there when that shit happened. That was my. She all super freaky. She like seen and shit. She come grab me from upstairs. That they, they they let me listen to uh, hip hop. The hippie to the hippie, the hip hop that don't stop. Back to the bang bang. That song. You ain't never heard of Sugar Hill Gang. I'm like, damn, I ain't never heard. They from New Orleans. They up here in Chicago, right? So she come grab me out of the bed, take me downstairs. She just kissing on me. So. Uh, my <laughs> my mother, my grandmother's, my step grandfather's step grandfather. He come in. He see your girl. She said, "Man, he came down here. Boom, right? All right. She blame me. I, I literally, I wouldn't. I don't think I was ten years old. I really wasn't ten years old, right? So, all right. So everybody now, keep in mind the whole family up in up from New Orleans living with her, us in this big ass house. So everybody there." So the next morning come around, the mind went downstairs into the old girl room, right? So now I'm punished. This summertime. I had to stay in the house the whole summer. So I back then you get whooped by everybody. You get whooped by grandma, 
such and such. The last person to whoop me was my pop, but he ain't even he listened to the fucking story. He just came in grabbing shit. Wap, wap, wap. Didn't listen. You ain't gonna listen. To, so if he listened to that song, if he, <laughs> is he gonna bring it up? Cause if you if you at home listening to YouTube, that shit should have been. You following Great Score? That should have been like, oh man. And I sent him a little clip. You didn't seen it, so you ain't brought it up yet. But he gonna know all that shit. But the best part of that is I was abused as a child. The shit had to stop. That was that fight. You see what I'm saying? That shit had to stop. Like a kid inside a candy store, my grandmother's candy store, waving a Glock, I want it all right now. They working all day to give you pennies. That's why I stopped my own business, started selling cookies and icy cups. Fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Not fuck y'all, y'all grandparents. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, you see absolutely. what I'm saying? But that's what that anger is. So eventually, just like you were saying, eventually, he gonna have to talk to me about it. We talked for like two hours on Sunday because it was his birthday. So I'm talking to him. That's my, my birthday gift is talking to you. Okay. But I'm still sending you something through Amazon. You know what I'm saying? So sure. like you saying, you being a bigger man at this point, and sometimes you got to teach them how to be better men. You know what I'm saying? So we can lead him by example. But if he, it's going to be real interesting to, <laughs> to see go listen to if he brings again, this up. Though. If he brings it up. I got to go listen to that song again, man. So I'm going to let y'all. Yeah, it, I heard it all. I heard all of those elements, but I never put that together into like this. It, it didn't right. come together yeah. like this. It, it, it last come, right. You, you need to go through this rhyme on a deep dive. Yo, OK. So when I said I didn't like that song, I didn't like revealing this song, letting this all out. You know what I'm saying? Why? You. you know what I'm saying? So you. It's embarrassing. Yo. It's a loser. Yo, you know what I'm saying? My mind is blown deep. Right. Oh, I, ain't even, I ain't even I ain't even pick up on that song like that. Yo. That shit just went from here to here. <laughs> it did. Yo, it's crazy. <laughs> this song is and so it crazy. makes therapy a perfect song to follow it, man. Perfect song, but, right. but, but he but he said that ten minutes ago. He, he said ten minutes ago. <laughs> what? What? You said ten minutes ago. Therapy was the perfect song to follow. It. Yes, exactly, exactly. That's why I was like, oh my god, man, yo, my mind that hit me in the heart. Man. Yeah, that's real stuff. Yeah, right, yo, when I listen, when crazy. I listen to one more, one more might now be one of the greatest <laughs> personal kinda, songs. But I'm screaming. I'm, I'm mad as hell at the end of it. You see, I was screaming. Reese was like, man, you were screaming. I said, was I screaming? He's like, yeah, the whole fucking song you were screaming. He said, I turned the headphones down. And I'm like, oh, shit. You sound like a different you know. MC. Like, you always sound like a different MC, but you really sounded like, yeah. like, I, I was like, yo, why is this <laughs> somebody I ain't been hearing for years on radio Painful. already? Like, yo, it sounded miss- like that. I, I, all that. I, like, I thought all I was that. like, yo, Jay got a Jay Z got a problem with this dude. It <laughs> is no lie. I'm I'm that. <laughs> I miss all that, man. Like, man, and I I know all the parts you're talking about. Like, I right. like, I got parts of the song memorized because I've been bumping it. Yeah, so I'm just like, yo, this shit is yeah. dope. And like, I remember last week you were talking about the kind of the loser story and some right. of that stuff. I'm like, all right, I right. see where you're coming from, but I didn't put it all together. See, see, that's just what I'm saying. But this is, but some people are out there listening, just like a, that freestyle, that killer tape freestyle. He said, man, what do you mean when you said pity and Liddy? I made a mistake and said Liddy and pity, whatever. I made the mistake, but people are listening. I said, damn, you caught that? I thought y'all weren't going to catch that. You know what I'm saying? Who cares what I said? It was just a little freestyle, but people are listening to those intricate parts. All right, catch, that's, catch, listen, man. Yeah, right. Catch, but, listen. But that's why I'm surprised that the people are picking up. Like y'all saying, it's a good story and it, it sounds good. There's people out there that's picking up on those little shits that's saying like, man, I hear you. Man, my mama going through this. And I'm like, man, I'm listening to now. This is what hip hop is. We're going to take care of community. Yeah. So therapy coming right behind that. Never slow up, man, because we all in this as a complete group. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So by the time so it's gonna be said and done, it's gonna be a nice little album or something. Yeah, that that, so that's, that dude. I thought I thought you was just telling a, a, a story, like a random story, bro. I'm listening to the song. <laughs> I'm I'm, 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 I'm with you, man. Story. I'm 
wrestling with you, man. Like, you the child, I just had to stop. You know, I mean? you had to stop. I'm smoking and everything. I'm like, this nigga kill it. And then when he was crazy, I'm like, yo, the, the 22 in my man, boot. Yeah, that's crazy. I, um, that's crazy. I, I appreciate that. I got that, my ass whipped. I didn't shoot. Yeah. But, uh, like, I, and I, I, yes. Every part yeah. of me was like, yo, that's, that shit is true. Like, no that's part true. of me was like, like, that's for the, that's for the purpose of the song, right? Every right. part of me believed that. Mm-hmm. But, like, the, the other elements in that, I'm like, yo, all right, they, they just help the story. And none of it sounded embellished. So it, it mm-hmm. didn't sound like mm-hmm. fictional. Right. But right. it, right. But it, it didn't register that way with me. I don't have a lot of those experiences. So, right. I, you know, I was listening to a layer to a homie flowing. That shit is dope. This makes sense. Right. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, I tell you, now, man, yeah. I tell you that, yo, because you might try to use this against me next week. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm bugging. But, you know, I tell you all the time, like, the stuff in, like, in all your yes, minds, you I tell you the drinks in your drinks. But, yeah. you know, like, the stuff that sticks out to in your verses to me is that type of stuff. Again, my favorite verse, my favorite line from one time is 2,000 milligrams a day that, trying to make it work. Like that, when you listen to what you're saying up to that point, mm-hmm. and then you hear that, it's like, yo, that mm-hmm. shit is heavy. Right. You know, um, thank and you, even, you. you know, so, right. man, that's, that's, that's just dope, man. That's respect, man. Right. But this is why we all land on therapy. Right, that's, right. That, you see what I'm saying? That man, I thought y'all planned it. I thought it would make perfect sense. It made oh. perfect sense to me. I didn't know so, that you would contemplate not putting it out. Alex, Alex like, hit me last week and like, yo, I can't come off the hills of that, but this is gonna bring the energy down. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yo, I can't tell you what to or what not to do. If I was you, I would release it. Matter of fact, I hit Sha after mm. it came out. Was like, yo, we got an extra Monday. Cause we was gonna put keep the change out today. Yeah. Oh. I was so like, yo, oh. like therapy ride the whole week. We got an extra Monday. Okay. Let therapy ride all week. Let that yes. shit bubble. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it's it's important. Mm-hmm. It's it's important. It. You yeah. know what I mean? And like, you know, at, at first, like you know, me me and Alex had the discussion. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna do whatever you want to do, fam. Like I can't I can't tell you what to or what not to do but my uh-huh. two cents is let that joint go yes saying because yes. it, it's dope and it needs to be out there and yes. the energy piece aside yeah you're going to touch somebody there somebody you, go. you don't even know about is 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 maybe using that to heal right you know yes so, yes that's the point i'm trying to yeah you're right exactly yeah. exactly but now coming off the hills of one more is even doper now you know? yes it's like, awesome. matter of fact, we can't. I got. I got to go write a, a. I got to write another <laughs> joint, man. We can't put keep the change out after them two shit. Nah. <laughs> but but seriously, right? I've been man. waiting for yours anyway. Uh-huh. But the funny thing is, it's kind of along those lines in a mm-hmm. strange way. It is actually along the same lines as both of those. Yeah. But yeah. But the, yeah, man. I think both of them drinks is is, is tough, yeah. man. I mean, literally what y'all are doing is still exemplary MCing because y'all are, are yes. putting creative techniques in there, but y'all are all talking about real life shit, not mm-hmm. embellishing anything, not glorifying, over glorifying anything. It, mm-hmm. Y'all are doing exactly what I've always hoped to see with MCs do, man, for real, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I, I couldn't be happier than seeing what, what y'all are doing right now, man, for real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's real. Like you hear people talking about keeping real in my rhymes, keeping that real in my rhymes, but then they, they, <laughs> You, they portray movies and cinematic shit that you know ain't right. really, you know, everybody's life going on in the rods. But you guys are really mm-hmm. talking about real stuff that everybody that's probably listening to can relate to in some way, realistically. And I say, oh, that sounds like some dope shit for a movie. I can see that in a, in a movie. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's shit that hurts to hear, man. Yeah. Therapy. And, and hurt right. to say it, too. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But what? that's a part of therapy. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> therapy. Yes, you know it is. The, the release is putting it out there. That's yes, the release. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And we don't we don't really understand that, but the release is putting it out there. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah oh, that okay. and, and honestly, Alex, that was why I asked you how you felt now that you now that it's out there. 
mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because I, like when 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 we was going back and forth and listening to it, I'm like, yo, there there's there's a lot in this track, so and there, this is this is a man expressing himself like we do not do on record for everybody to hear and being vulnerable, not kind of fake vulnerable. Like, yo, this shit bothers me and here's why. And now I'm trying to cope with it and make sure I do different or better for my family. But I still need to understand this. Like, you know, that's that's a lot to unpack, man. And, and you know, it's people out there that, that have at least that same situation, possibly worse. Peace, 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 my people. It's your boy, the most fabulous T Bear 183. Gonna do a quick little segment about some things. It's something I brought up uh, a few weeks ago, a month ago, talking about replay value. Talking about albums with good replay value. It all came about trying to figure out why we listen to what we listen to, or why we're not listening to what we're listening to no more. You know, especially with now, with uh albums and projects coming out not a lot of them really have physical copies and uh, people are just streaming stuff so they kind of missing out on how we used to do things used to be able to sit with an album for months years even before uh that artist or whatever put out another project you know and things were kind of spaced out so we were able to sit with things and listen to them and enjoy them and you know artists took their time they weren't just dropping stuff you know back to back all the time but anyway replay value um i want to talk about what makes us listen to stuff and uh not so much give things a rating because you know my taste may be different from yours so i'm gonna let you know why i keep going back to things or keep putting stuff in rotation, you know, to go through it. So, that being said, without rambling on too much about it, I want to get into my first joint. Um, this one, unfortunately, I don't have everything on wax. I don't have physicals of everything. I wish I did, but that's another story for another day. So. Everybody hear me talk about this one all the time. The very first tape that I bought, but this isn't the tape. I went back and got the CD. Public Enemy takes a nation of millions to hold us back. Classic, 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 classic. Physical copies back in the day when things had liner notes. Liner notes. You know, this one actually got the verses to the songs dog on the paper yellowed a little bit too man i haven't had this joint for a minute anyway 1988 public enemy takes a nation of millions why does this have such replay value stuff that you didn't even know back in 88 unless you was an industry type or even a big music buff which i was like 10 years old so the answer to that was no but later on first of all They can't even remake this album. They can't clear all the samples. It's impossible. Bomb Squad, Shockley Brothers, and all of them, they ran through so many samples just to make this joint. I think the only group that did an album with as many, if not more, samples is when the Beastie Boys did Paul's Boutique, which is another album with good replay value. Y'all need to check for that one as well. But we ain't talking about them right now. We on Public Enemy. I mean, just the way the joint starts off. And this is one of the ones I ain't find out till recently. First cut, I mean, outside of Countdown Armageddon, I don't really consider that a cut. That's really like the intro to the album. But Bring the Noise, man. My man just come out. First of all, the quotables, the quotables, just off of this joint alone, nobody ever gives Chuck the credit for the things that he said for his rhyming ability, but the quotables, you know, bass, how low can you go? Death Row, what a brother know, once again back is the incredible rhyme animal. How many times have you heard that? 
you've heard that verse or pieces of that verse cut up and sampled in other songs. That bass that he dropped, it's like one of the samples it was on the early scratch records where they just had sound bites that you cut up. You know, verse that in that Chuck D voice. And then the samples, the sound, the way they put it all together was just incredible. They manage. Oh, and the shoot, I missed my point. I just found out recently, Chuck run through three different rhyme patterns in this one song. And it's like one of the first people that ever really did it in hip hop and nobody even acknowledged that. No, we completely glossed over it. Didn't miss it because so many people dismissed Chuck D as a dope MC, I mean, they just kind of wrote them off but you know just because his subject matter kind of remained the same and positivity and politics you know nobody ever thought about the fact that the brother actually could rhyme but he went through three different rhyme patterns one song you got cast today that ain't even doing that so you got to give your man his props where it come from but like I was saying, their production style. These are things that was coming back to me. Why I keep coming back. Trying to catch all the samples. Trying to see how they mash things together. Because they came back and they crammed all of these things and they had different tricks and techniques and mashing all of this stuff together. And even though it was chaotic, it was just still funky and, and beautiful even. I mean, man, these brothers put in a lot of work. And if you ever listen to the stories of what all they did with it, I mean, it's just incredible. It's an incredible album, man. And I urge everybody, if you haven't listened to Public Enemy, It Takes a Nation of Millions, you know, you need to go. It should be streaming everywhere. If you could find a physical copy, I say get you a physical copy. I've seen people have it on wax, so I know wax is out there. I'm sure you can find a CD somewhere. This is probably sitting in some mundane 50 cent bin in a Goodwill or something somewhere. Get you a copy. This is a must have, even if you got it on tape. And I mean, just the joints. You know, like I said, you had Bring the Noise, Don't Believe the Hype. That was a radio joint. Terminator X to the Edge of Panic. Jeez, man, they sampled Queen on that with the uh, with the flash. Flash, ah, crazy. Louder than a bomb. She watched Channel Zero, Night of the Living Bassheads. Night of the Living Bassheads. The video for that was crazy. Get on your, do your Google. So after y'all finish up with us and you still on YouTube, do the search, Public Enemy, Night of the Living Bassheads. Watch that joint. Listen to what they're talking about, but watch the video. The video is crazy. I'm not even gonna spoil it for you. I'm gonna let you go and check it out yourself. Madness. There's so many joints on here. So many joints. This is an incredible, incredible album. I urge everybody, if you don't own it, go own it. You can listen to it, try before you buy, because that's the age of in. But I'm telling you, go own it. I visit this album quite often. I won't say it's a once a weeker, maybe every few months or whenever I feel like it, you know? This album's been with me pretty much since it dropped. 1988, I've had some sort of copy of this album, whether it was a bootleg tape, whether it was a CD, later ripped to MP3 on a phone or somewhere. I've had a copy of this album. I listen to it multiple times a year and been doing so for over 30 years now. High replay value. Y'all need to check this one out. Public Enemy, Nation of Millions, take us back. Or hold us back, I'm sorry. I'm butchering the title. Chuck gonna kill me. But whatever. Dope album. Y'all need to own it. 